All right, Jackson, thanks. The proposed cuts could also have an impact on dialysis clinics at three Vermont hospitals as they work to review the next steps from the UVMMC ownership. NBC5's James Maloney is telling us about the current situation from Rutland. As local dialysis centers face an unknown future in Vermont, we spoke with one kidney patient that could be impacted here in Rutland. I'm still fighting. I'm going to fight until my last breath. Lori Dickton receives dialysis three times a week. They found out that I had cancer. Um, and this particular cancer um, is the result of my kidney disease. Lori says she's been battling since 2014. She's tried receiving a donation three times, but says she did not qualify because of pre-existing conditions. Now Lori is in kidney failure and says she'll need to be on dialysis treatment for the rest of her life. I get emotional thinking about it. Um, you just have to have the mindset where this is today. I'm going to make, make it the best day I can and live one day at a time. Rutland Regional Medical Center says there are about 60 people in the area who rely on dialysis treatment to stay alive. In a statement, the UVM Health Network says Rutland Regional, along with North Country Hospital and Northwestern Medical Center, have begun discussions with the network in search of a way for dialysis care to be maintained in their respective service areas for the patients who need it. Right now, all of the clinics will continue to operate, but patients like Lori are anxious to know what the future will look like. If UVM couldn't handle the financial aspect of this. How are these hospitals going to do it? The process to transition ownership of the sites will require regulatory approval. The hospitals say they hope the Green Mountain Care Board will recognize this important need and support them in transitioning the care in a way that balances the needs of the organizations and patients. While the path is unknown, Lori and her family are still holding on to hope and hope services won't see an interruption. This is the last thing we should have to be worrying about. And Rutland Regional Medical Center says they are evaluating the dialysis program to determine the impact in the community. In Rutland, James Maloney, NBC5 News.